Well, I found I found so. I started sitting in a, a fee-paid capacity 21 years ago and have found tremendous flexibility since then, going from fee-paid employment judge to salaried full-time, and then up onto the circuit bench, where I've got this fantastic breadth of uh, jurisdictions I sit in, Employment Appeal Tribunal, Crown Court and County Court. And I find that there's a, an understanding and sympathy if people want to stretch their wings and to sit in other jurisdictions, so you can get support and encouragement to widen your judicial experience and to see it as something as a career, which I've enjoyed, because obviously you don't want to do the same thing for years on end. In respect of the job itself, although I am supposed to be 100% crime, there is the possibility to do other things. I mean, you get advertisements or expressions for interest, as they're known, to sit in other jurisdictions from time to time. That could be civil, family, mental health, uh, also perhaps on sitting in other tribunals, um, parole board. It's, as you progress through the ranks, of course, there can be um, the options to try and sit at Central Criminal Court, uh, or indeed uh, the Court of Appeal Criminal Division, uh, and also apply to be a Deputy High Court Judge. So there is scope for career flexibility, um, because of course it's appreciated I hope by uh, the senior judiciary and indeed the system that a lot of circuit judges, especially if they start fairly young, such as me, uh, might want to branch out or certainly have uh, the options to do other things as their careers progress. I think those options are incredibly wide. There are options to seek appointment as a Section 9 judge exercising the powers of the High Court. I sit in the Administrative Court. I'm a judge of the Planning Court. As part of my administrative work, I sit as a judge of the upper tribunal in immigration work. But in terms of my career generally, uh, I think I'm a good example of what sort of flexibility there is. I started off as a, a circuit a judge sitting in Liverpool and Manchester. I then moved on to become a specialist circuit judge, so specialising in chancery and what is now circuit commercial work. And then earlier this year, I became the designated civil judge for Greater Manchester. Part of the flexibility that we have in the role is not only about the judging work that we do, but we have opportunities to be involved in all sorts of other things. So, for example, the uh, Rules Committee. I sit on the Insolvency uh, Rules Committee and I do a lot of work with the Civil Procedure Rules Committee. I'm also involved, and all judges have the opportunity to be involved in the reform process, which is incredibly uh, important uh, and very fulfilling. Circuit judges, um, criminal circuit judges, uh, will concentrate, of course, on criminal work. Uh, they may do other work. They may sit in family, may sit in civil work as well. Uh, but what is important to remember as a criminal circuit judge is that you can be ticketed and will be ticketed to do different areas of work, some more complicated and serious than others. Um, you would expect to be ticketed to do sex cases. A lot of the work involves uh, sexual offences. But also you could be ticketed to do more serious work, homicides, um, uh, terrorism, matters such as that. So there is real opportunity to progress even within your area of criminal expertise. Uh, similarly, of course, you could uh, develop in other areas should you do those.